Hi everybody. Welcome back. Thought I'd do a quick update. Um, just got back from Exmouth. Just changed all the bed in and give them a quick clean out. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd do a quick update to let you know where we are. Um, we we have got some chicks. Um, the the, thir the furthest along being my little project with the uh, the clear red and uh, the red black hen. And she got two chicks in there. Doing quite well. Um, uh, my red, my red hen, one of the ones I bred last year. I won't show you, but she got three chicks in there. Um, two is definitely hers. Um, I did move some eggs around. Um, the egg gates weren't sitting properly, probably due to, um, as one of the guys mentioned, they could see each other, the hens, and they won't won't sit properly um, if they can see each other, which I didn't know that. So it's something I've learned this year. Um, so I did this this one in here is one of my my own hens. So I put her eggs up with this one because um, they were well, they were stone cold. They, she was on and off, on and off. Um, they were full. Um, I think one of them might have made it because one of the chicks, although it was really early days, does look a little bit darker. So it's probably one of the A gates, um, which that will be uh, that will be a bonus. Um, so yeah, there's three chicks in there doing quite well. I think they got to be about three days old, something like that. Um, uh, yeah, so. <clears throat> the egg gates, none of them, they wouldn't sit very well. Like I said, they could probably, uh, like some of the chaps have said, probably seeing each other um, is sort of put them off sitting tight. So, like I said, I moved her eggs up. So hopefully we get uh, a chick from this one. Um, her eggs, I took them away. She never sat them at all. Um, she did have six, which... I would have thought at least four of them would be fertile. Um, so I took them away and um, my little five feeder, which I used last year, um, I've let her build up. Um, just chuck one of my spare cocks in there with her. She went straight down, laid her eggs. So um, I chucked them out and uh, she got some egg eight, the Italian egg eight eggs under her. So. Um, obviously within a couple of days we'll be able to see uh, if they're full um, if so then um, hopefully she'll do a good job like she did last year and rear those for me <clears throat> um, yes yeah, so this this hen in here I, I this is a different hen of mine um, my other spare hen uh, if you remember in the uh, one of the last videos, um, I did have one of my hens that um, she built up, laid, had four eggs, and then just all of a sudden didn't look great, all puffed up and didn't sit. So um, retired that one. She's uh, <coughs> I took her out and um, put one of my other hens in. Um, she's one of my later bred ones, so she's toyed with building um but yeah she's probably still not quite ready to go down um so no rush no rush with that one uh that's with the i uh, got her in there at the moment with the uh, the italian cock and the italian hen um not the greatest um bird um for rearing chicks um, she did have, I think it was four full eggs. Um, but two so, uh, didn't make it. They did hatch, didn't make it. Um, obviously the two that's in there, um, they're quite small for their age. Uh, but she just don't feed them enough. So every day I've been topping up. So yeah, hopefully um, they make it. Because I do want some chicks out of these. Uh, 
Italian birds. Um, yeah, hopefully on her next round, obviously there, she's a young hen, next round she might do a better job. Hopefully we, we um, those two survive. Um, so I've added nest pans today um, to these two agate hens. So hopefully they yeah, start building up. <coughs> I've um, nothing as of yet with the green finches. Um, I've set up this bottom flight. I, I don't know whether I put that in my last video. Um, put um, my Lutino green finch cock in here. Um, obviously, I know it's definitely a cock, so that one's gone straight in. With one of my older hens. Um, she's a satinette, but I knew she'd go down straight away. So, and she's built up there. Um, not the best of nests, but yeah. Um, probably should guarantee birds with this. She she reared birds for me last year and did a good job. So, uh, actually used her as a feeder. Um, yeah. So. Um, I think it was three green finches she reared for me last year. I only did one round with her. Um, I did have a trio in this top cage, but um, still nothing. Um, still not built up anything yet. So I think it's a little bit small for a trio. So I took one of the birds out, um, put it back in the flight, and then straight away was fighting with this other one. So now I'm thinking, oh. Have we got a cock there? So, or, well, I've seen this one singing. So apparently I've just found out hens will sing, but they I put, the, put the spare one back in here and they started fighting like mad straight away. So I don't know, maybe they might be cocks. Maybe I've got it all wrong. So um, I've, just, I've just split them up and put that one down there just for now. Um, obviously we don't want any casualties, so. Um, the, pl the plan with the red blacks, I might, I might go one more, if, if we get these two um, chicks to the sticks, uh, they'll be like heavily variegated. I might go one more round, use that cock again, I might go one more round and then I'll, I'll pair her to the cock that she came with, uh, this intensive red black, and just maybe get a round. Um, um, of, from them, or maybe even use her as a feeder. We'll see how we get on. Um, if if I need her for a feeder, then so be it. Um, um, right, so we did have eggs with this mule in pair, um, infertile. So I think we give her a couple of a week or two, something like that, and then. Give her a nest pan again, and now she's built up and got chicks. This pair is the pair that I was, um, well, which I thought was most promising, let's just say that, like I mentioned before. Young hen, which I, I, I bred myself, um, and the cock bird, I, um, young, young cock bird, never been paired with anything else. Um, got them together early, so I thought this pair would be um, the one that I would probably have results with. Um, although she built up and then didn't lay anything, so I took the nest away. Um, and then uh, recently, or a week ago, give her a, a nest site again, and she's gone straight round, uh, straight down, sorry, and laid. So maybe in a day or two, we might be able to see if there's anything full in there. Um, yeah, give, give her a bit of cover. Um, now, I know canaries don't really need that. I mean, is it gonna do an, anything? I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'll just give her a bit of cover. Um, just recently added a nest pan to this pair um, because her eggs were also um, not, not full. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll try these again. Probably a little bit early still with the uh, with the old goldfinches, but we'll see. Plenty of time. Oh, also, some more news with the red poles. Now, it's not been a good start with these. As you can remember in my last video, um, 
over the moon with my little pair of red poles, never kept them before. Within a couple of weeks, hen puffs up. Um, and then obviously we all know what happens after that. Um, <coughs> so I was left with a cock and then did a trade with some guy, as I mentioned before, and um, we um, got another hen. A lovely little bird, actually. Beautiful, I don't know, it's a bit, a bit dark in here now, so it's hard to see. Lovely little hen. Um, they were beaking straight away. She was dead keen to, um, I don't know whether she was ready to go down, but I don't know, beaking and all that malarkey. So I thought it won't be long before she goes down. Then my cock bird decided to, to um, puff up and didn't look great. Um, caught him and he was looking a little bit thin. So give him some meds. Um, usually when they puff up there, they're no good. Uh, they normally just die anyway, but I thought I'll give it a go. Um, started to look a little bit better. Um, and um, yeah, I just decided to take it out and maybe try a new cock, which um, um, a friend of mine needed a red factor cock. So he said, if you want to trade, I can, I've got a, um, a red pole here split for, I can't remember what it's split for now, a cinnamon or something, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, anything, if I get anything out of these, it'd be great, because like I said, I've never bred them before. So, um, but yeah, I've obviously only put that cock in here today and they're beaking already and probably looks like she wants to go down. So hopefully fingers crossed with these. So yeah, I've took my, my other cock bird, obviously like I said, I took that one away. Um, hopefully it makes it, if it don't, it is what it is. Um, that's uh, buying birds from Stafford, as I've mentioned before, you never know what you're buying. So, um, yeah, that would be, if, it, if I do lose that, obviously that would be, obviously both of them gone, so waste of money. Never mind. That's bird keeping, I suppose. Oh yeah, so, um, yeah, good, fairly good start to the season. Um, still a bit early for me, like I said, with these this pair here. Um, obviously some of my birds were bred quite late in the year last year, so they might not be sexually mature yet, so... Yeah, no rush. Um, but yeah, what, what I mean, whatever I breed is, a, is always a bonus. Um, because I've not got tons of space. Um, yeah, if I, I think last year, I was it 25 young birds I bred? So if I breed something like that, I'll be over the moon. So, and hopefully get some uh, greenies on the sticks would be nice. Um, I didn't actually, Apart from the hen in here, which I mentioned, reared some uh, green finches for me. It wasn't her own. It was just eggs that was laid in the flight. I picked them up and put them under her and she reared them. But that was the only hen last year that I bought that, <coughs> excuse me, that reared any um, green finches. All the rest of them, I put them under feeders. Whether it was my, my reds or my little fife reared a couple for me. Uh, I think there was eight in the end I bred last year. So, again, if we get something like that, that will, uh, I'll be happy. Um, usually they say, when obviously the birds have had a season in your, uh, over a year in your flight, uh, in your bird room, sorry. They're a bit more, obviously they're used to the surroundings and you should do better breeding from your own birds, which fingers crossed we will. But yeah, nice pair this one. Hopefully we breed something from these. Um, yeah, so that's where we are for now. Um, fingers crossed. I might do a little short in a few days. I'll let you guys know if these are um, sitting on full eggs. That would be uh, great. Um, never bred mules before, so It'd be a box ticked if I if I do that. Whether I breed them again, who knows? If I breed any at all, that is. We'll see. <coughs> yeah. Right, 
Well, we'll do a video in another, maybe another week or so, probably.